Hey guys, God bless you. I wanted to come on and share a really cool, encouraging dream that the Lord gave me this morning. Uh, before I get into it, though, I just want to open in prayer. <clears throat> Father, just thank you, Lord. I thank you for your presence. I thank you for joy of the Lord, which is our strength. God, I ask that you would just guard my heart, guide my mouth, and let all the words come forth that you would have them to, to be spoken of, God. And I'd be an oracle, a mouthpiece for your holy words, your awesome truth, and your righteousness, God. For you are so great, God. I praise you, and I thank you, and I ask, God, that you would just, God, touch us all. Meet us right where we're at. We need you, God. We need just a fresh and filling, God, from you, Lord. <clears throat> we just need your, your truth that sets us all free, Lord. I praise you, and I thank you, and I ask this all in the name of the only begotten Son of God, who was sent of the Father, born of a virgin, who lived a holy, righteous life, 24-7 submission to the Father, died on the cross, took our sins and iniquities, our shame, our curses, nailed them to the cross, and on the third day he rose again from the grave, victorious over hell, death, and the grave. And we thank you, Father, and we praise you in the mighty name of Yeshua HaMashiach. I ask all these things. Amen and Amen. <clears throat> okay, so the the dream that happened was I was um, I was kind of I was just being a, attacked by a bunch of evil creatures, evil entities, um, and it was like they were it was just me there. Um, and I was being overwhelmed by them. Like their numbers were, you know, they were very numerous. Um, and they kind of started to corner me. And <clears throat> all of a sudden I called upon the name of the Lord. And not just that, but I used the word of God. And as soon as I did that, a flame and sword of fire came down from heaven into my hand and I took it and I sliced the entities in half and it cut through them like it was like it was nothing. It was like it was butter. You know, it was like a, a razor sharp knife cutting through butter. Um, and it really points me to this verse, Jeremiah chapter 23, verse 29. It says, it is not my word like fire, says Yahweh, and like a hammer that breaks the rock to pieces. <clears throat> so his word is fire. And it's sharper. And as Hebrews 4.12 says, you know, it says that the word of God is alive and active and sharper than a two-edged sword, a division of soul, spirit, body, and it judges the thoughts and intents of the heart. And 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verses 4-5, through 5, it says, For the weapons of our warfare are not fleshly, but mighty in God for the pulling down of strongholds, throwing down imaginations, and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God, and bringing every thought into captivity to the submission of God, to the obedience of God. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, uh, yeah, it was just amazing. Like, that encouragement is for all of us. Like, that's how powerful the Word of God is for any of us. Um, and not just the word, but the name of the Lord is powerful. Um, when we call upon him in truth, because it's not about like how we, um, th the name as much as like we're positioning ourselves in him, um, and our hearts have to be positioned. It has to, we have to be in right standing with the father in relationship, uh, worshiping the spirit and truth and not just a hearer, but a doer of the word. Uh, and then we can see those mountains move. You know, it first comes from submission to the Father. And then we resist the devil and the devil flees from us. But yeah, that's, you know, it's how powerful a son or daughter is in Christ. Like, we are powerful because of him who is in us. Not us, but it's Christ in us, the hope of glory. That's where First John chapter 4, verse 4 comes in. It says, But you are of God, little children, have overcome them, because greater is he that's in you than he that's in this world. So the greater than is in us. That's the spirit of righteousness in us. And the, the same spirit that rose Christ Jesus from the grave, that's what lives in us. You know, and uh, he trains our hands for war and teaches us to bend the bow of bronze and gives us strength for the battle. 
you know, it's, it's amazing. Like he is amazing. So I just wanted to encourage you guys with that. Just, you know, a quick little, um, uh, video of the encouragement he gave to me. And I knew it was him giving it to, to me to give it to you guys as well. Um, all right. Well, God bless you. God keep you. May God shine his face on you now in the days ahead. And if you guys have any uh, prayer needs, we'd love just to join you and meet you right where you're at. All right, guys, we love you. God bless.